Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. On today's video I have this uh, Mercedes um, C-Class. This is a 2004 W203. Um, it is an import and um, what I want to do is I want to try and change the radio because the radio on this um, car only goes up to a certain station so there's a number of stations you can't actually get so I want to see if I can actually do a straight swap with another a second-hand UK radio um, now to remove this radio uh, we need to actually uh, take this panel off and then we can access and take the radio out um, and also we need to remove these panels up here as far as I remember um, but to remove this panel there are two screws down here which means we need to remove the ashtray here and to get to the ashtray we need to remove this panel uh, so to start with we need to pull this panel up here um, so the best thing would be to probably put the shifter or the gear knob back a little you have some room and you could have a you could use a, a prime tool to get this up so basically we just need to pull it up and uh, you can do it with your hands but prime tool would be probably better because it will help you not cause any damage mm, let me use my screwdriver but a plastic prime tool would be better also because then you don't scratch the material here um, we can also, once you get access to there, you can push this panel out. You want to be a little bit careful because it's got some clips. If you snap the clips, then it's harder to get this to sit down. Right, we can at least get this up a little bit. Okay, so if you can pull this up a little bit, you'll be able to lift this up and bring it forward. You just need to release it from here. And we can hopefully slide this out of here. Just be careful here, there's a wire connected to the shifter. And uh, once we have that off, we can access there is a couple of clips in here we need to clip in order to remove this here okay so i couldn't quite hold the camera to show you this but um in this model this here is a clip this running down so you need to get it from the side from the back here and just pull it out a little bit while you hold it up you do the same on the other side so that there is a little clip, you go from the back and push it out, like so. That will bring this up and you can then sort of pull this out. And uh, obviously the uh, cigarette lighter will be connected to this. And uh, that is connection is right back there so we want to disconnect that in order to to have some to be able to remove uh, this so we have some extra room Having said that about removing the cable, um, we could just uh, put this to one side and leave that cable connected. 
there is enough room here actually so um now you'll have access to those uh, torx screws in there so now i'm going to take those torques out Okay, I got both screws out, so this should pop now, just like that. Again, we could leave all the wires connected, we don't need to um, take it out. And now um, we have yet another two torques here. So that's the bottom part of the stereo loose, but now we need to do the top. Uh, so that's only half of the fun. <laughs> now uh, we want to do the, the other part of the of this and uh, what we really need to do is there are some little clips in here that will allow you to shift this up and down and uh, we can then um, remove a couple of torques that are up here so inside of here okay so this might be a little bit difficult to see but inside of here there are some tiny little clips um, on the side there and if you flick that open and then you're able to lift this cover up enough to give you access to that screw in there the torques in there same on this side but the one on this side it's uh, <laughs> to be honest I think I broke it so it's just lifting up um, anyway that gives access to that screw in there as well which we need to remove with the Torx so it got a little bit late because I needed to find one of these you need to find a very skinny tool like this in order to get it in there to remove the screws that are in there so this is a t20 and obviously there's two screws that we need to loosen in there and once they are loose the other thing you need to do is bring this down and again there are those little flaps up here somewhere where you need to uh, press or open a little bit in order to bring this down I think it might be in here sorry so don't do it don't open it too much just enough to bring it down so I kind of snapped, kind of snapped the other one. <laughs> uh, so there's another one, that's that one here. So open that a little bit and bring that down. With that down, you will have access to, there are um, some clips in here that we want to press and pull this out okay just got something to hold my phone but if you get your screwdriver in there and pull the clip down sort of thing you'll be able to push this out 
I mean, you'll be able to pull it out. So your screwdriver is going in there and you're, sh and you're pushing that little thing down basically, this, this bit, in order to release that. Some of these may have a cable, if they have, some of them have a, a switch or something in, in between. Um, having done that, you will find uh, two torques, one here, T20s, and the other one here. So while doing all of this and getting distracted, um, <laughs> I just wanted to see. So these are the screws that come out <laughs> from, they actually remain a little bit in there. So that's a good thing. I just discovered that because when you put them in, they will be in place and you're not gonna lose them. Right, so this bit here should technically pull out. Okay, might be a little bit tight in there. You can disconnect the cable, but I don't want to disconnect it just for a minute. Well, I may have to because it's a bit short. Right, let's just disconnect the cable, hang on because I have an airbag thing there, so I don't want to disconnect it because of the airbag. So I'm just going to undo this for the radio while I hold this up here. So these are the other two torques. Sorry, my phone is dancing. Okay. So we have another torque there and another one here. Okay, so um just have to remove that because I yeah, I said I have to temporarily fit it while I was when to get a screwdriver, well, a Torx screwdriver. I'm just gonna switch that off and uh, take the radio out. So we have this connection here and these other two, which we can't see. Okay, maybe we can see a little bit better from there. We have these two connections, uh, so if you press on that little clip there, you should be able to pull that out. Same with this one. Uh, and you can only, they can't fit on the other side or whatever. So, um, and we have this, the power and the speakers, if you pull this up, Sorry, if you pull it towards the center here, it will pull the whole connection out, like so. And that's the radio out. So now, now basically I can look at all the connectors here and I know what I have and more or less I know what I need. The kind of, because um, there, there's usually different radios out there which have different connections. So in my case, I wanted to make sure I, the one I'm going to order is exactly the same or at least very similar. So hopefully it will work. Um, 
so um, basically the next uh, thing I'm going to do um, refitting this is obviously reversal of removal no maps signs here um, I will fit it back now temporarily but uh, I will be getting the uh, stereo that I want to get and see if it works having said that since I removed this I want to see if this one <laughs> has some kind of code or anything that needs to be added so it should come on right so it's coming on and working fine so um, I'm gonna get um, another radio UK version and see if it works um, till then I will post this video on how to remove the radio um, on the next video I will put um, the details of whether the other stereo works if that video doesn't come then it means it didn't work so there's no point in making a video and uh, keep an eye because uh, I'm going to make another video on this car on um, how to replace as you may be able to see I've been having a battle here but uh, how to remove the rear vents here will be one video and the other video will be um, how to change I need to replace the armrest here because it was all broken so I hopefully will be able to make a video on how to uh, remove this arm here it has been a battle uh, but uh, if I can obviously make some sort of video at least show you some give you some tips um, so for now I hope this video helps don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next video keep an eye for the next video so um, thank you for watching